Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a Meet the Piggies video. I'm starting off with my two eldest. This is little Arabella here. She's a bit scared because she's right near their run at the moment. And so she doesn't want she wants to sit with them, don't you? So this is Arabella. She is a tricolour Peruvian. She is over a year old. Her birthday is the May 21st along with her sister Clara yeah you can't really see her like there we go it's a bit better but she is yes yeah, she's a tricolour Peruvian she does like to barber her own coat however since moving her into the CNC cage I have noticed that she hasn't been doing that so often so I do think that's had an effect because I tried everything else they've had the run of my room as well but um it obviously wasn't enough and I can't blame them for that so she has not barbered herself or her sisters <laughs> for a while now have you because they've been in the new cage for around a month and she's been really really good haven't you yeah so I'll go into, few, into a bit about Arabella Arabella is my bossiest pig she is definitely the dominant there is a rival between her and Clara um, and that's kind of always been ongoing but they only bicker a tiny bit and never never get into any fights or anything there's never been any blood or anything like that they're quite relaxed these two and they're well bonded oh she's giving me kisses are you giving me kisses thank you and you give me a nibble as well yeah it's your piggy kisses nothing better um <laughs> Anyway, and she is, yeah, like I was saying, she's my bossiest pig, but she's been very good. I was really worried, actually, when I got Daphne, that she wasn't going to bond well with her because she's so dominant, but she has actually done really well, and for the four weeks they've been together so far, she's been really good. Like, there's been a few, like, tiffs and everything, but that's to be expected, and definitely the last week they've been so much closer and I actually caught them snuggling on a bed together with Daphne yeah you were weren't you you're kissing me still and lots of kisses <laughs> um she there's not really like much that she dislikes other than these two Clara and Arabella both don't like apple for some reason like they'll take fresh apple but anything like dried apple or apple snacks from Burgess she won't eat so she's a bit of a funny one, aren't she? But she gets along really well with my little Maltese dog, Button. I don't know actually if he's going to come and say hello because he's in here. Button, you going to come? Come on here. Buddy. I don't know if he's coming. Can you hear him? Buddy, what's this? Oh well. We'll see if he does come. <laughs> You'll probably see him here if he does arrive. But basically, yeah, so I had them in... Oh, look at your little face. Um, <laughs> so I'm getting distracted by seeing her in the camera. But basically, they were in my room for over a year. So I've had them from babies. I've had them from seven weeks old, I think they were at the time. Oh, what's that, Arabella? Um, I named her Arabella because of this actual bed frame. I bought this on Amazon and it was called Arabella and it's before I had the pigs and I just absolutely fell in love with the name so I found a name to go with it which was Clara and I'd always liked that name so um, that's how I actually came up with their names but Arabella she is very sweet she doesn't like being fussed too much although she's being very good today um, but she, yeah she doesn't like being picked up very much or anything like that she's not She's a bit of a squirmy pig compared to Clara. Clara will just sit there. She'll be a bit more... I don't know if it's because she's less scared or something. I don't know. But you're a bit squirmy, aren't you? So she doesn't like her nails being done. Although she's better than Clara because Clara... We had an accident with Clara. And let's just say Clara doesn't trust me anymore and I can't blame her. But um, that's really about it with Arabella. I got her from a breeder. I know some people don't like that. Um... But at the end of the day, I wanted a Peruvian and around where I live, there aren't many rescues that have guinea pigs. 
especially um, such a breed like a Peruvian, they might have standard pigs, but generally they don't really have a lot of them. So you're trying to get away, aren't you? You're trying to get away. Anyway, I think I shall put her back and get this, uh, one of the others. But yeah, this is all really about Arabella. There's not much to say really other than she's a Peruvian, over a year old, my bossiest. She's got a lot of character. My mum absolutely loves Arabella. I think Arabella's her favourite. Although when Daphne arrived, my mum was smitten with Daphne. So you'll see her soon. But she is adorable as well. But I, they're always adorable. But aren't you? Yeah? So I'm going to put her back now and then get a second. But he's come to say hello. Hello. Say hello, but. Are you with the camera? He's just staring at the pen because it's right there. And the other girls are out in it. But they're really, he's safe to be around them. But I don't leave them unsupervised, obviously. But this is Miss Clara. Yeah. I need to get to see your face. There we go. Yeah, because it's hard to photograph because of her colourings. She's really difficult to photograph. But, oh, you're squeaking. You don't like it. Hey. Oh, no. Anyway. <laughs> Clara is also the same age as Arabella and I got them as a pair from the breeder. She's also a Peruvian. She is mainly black but she has a white half moustache as you saw there. And she has a white kind of like stripe in the middle of her fur. It comes down either side. So she is black and white really. Um... She is, like I said, she tries to rival Arabella with dominance, but generally they get along very well. She is probably, I did imagine her to be the closest one with Daphne and bond best with her because Arabella pushes Clara out a bit, so um, Clara likes to have a little bit extra company, but Clara's been enjoying having Daphne as her extra little friend. Haven't you? Yeah? Now she's just going. They've had a bath this morning because it was their time and they weren't very happy with me. So <laughs> they've been out in the run to dry off and I've also blow dried them a bit because of their long fur. So I don't want to get them too chilly. And they'll be going into their nice clean cage soon, won't you? Into a nice, nice cage, yes. But she's nibbling me as well. She's just warning me. She says, let me go. Let me go. <laughs> Anywho, what what else can we say about you, Clara? She, there's not really much to say about her. I mean, she's very sweet. I find I've got a real soft spot for Clara because the first week I had her, I thought that she was ill, but it turned out she wasn't. She was just walking funny as a baby. I don't know turned out nothing was absolutely she was absolutely fine she's trying to launch herself <laughs> into the cage i'm sorry i shouldn't have done this so close to the clutch because the hutch the run because they're trying to wriggle out but she is yeah so what was i saying god i've completely lost my train of thought but um she is quite yeah when she was a baby i thought there was something wrong with her but she said it wasn't and I spent a lot of time with her and she's always been the sweetest little pig. Although I was, I was about to say she was calm, but she's wriggling like a wriggler today. Yeah, you think I'm going to bath you again, don't you? Yeah, do you? Yeah. But yeah, so that is Clara. And there's not really much else to say about her. She's very similar to Arabella. And... She is very sweet as well, and they she hand feeds and everything. They're very tame, um, although they really want their veggies because I've just put some in, which you'll probably see some clips of after. Yeah, because you look really cute all eating your veggies. But yeah, so that's it about Clara. So I will now go and get to the third and last, which is little Daphne. Um, there's probably a lot more to say about her because of recent because I've only got her recently but anywho I shall get on with that and swap them over and put her back because Clara is getting very restless so thank you and I will get to her now the last little guinea pig that I own and this is little Daphne who you may have seen in the last um, 
cage at all, that's the word. And she is a 10 week old Lunkaria female and she's pure white. She has really dark blue grey eyes, unlike the two other girls who have brown eyes. She is absolutely adorable, as you can probably see. And she has really brought a little extra something to the other girls. They seem a lot more calm since they've had her with them, which is probably about a month now they've all been together. And they just seem to all be getting on very well. There's obviously a few tiffs and everything, but overall they're really really good together. So what can I say about Daphne? I got her also from a breeder. I decided to get a baby guinea pig purely because of Arabella's dominance. Thought I didn't want to risk putting another adult with her and then having the stress of that not turn out right. So I thought the safest option was a little baby. So little Daphne went in with them at six weeks old. She was 10 weeks on Friday and it's now Saturday so you're technically a 10 weeks and a day old but <laughs> yeah she is really really sweet and as you can see she's already hand feeding and everything she's quite tame already she's quite a confident little thing especially when I first got her she was quite confident um, with like sitting on my hand and everything and just being around me she was very very well behaved and wasn't squirming or squealing or anything like that she is now getting a range of vegetables because she's not <laughs> participating very well <laughs> but basically yeah i got her from a breeder who was lovely and everything and she's done really really well unfortunately after having her home for a bit it turned out that she did have a fungal infection and i know the breeder had warned me that another one of um the boys that she had obviously she'd separated them by then but one of the boys had actually had a fungal infection too so we've been fighting that off unfortunately the other girls haven't got it my vet said not to bother separating them because they'd already been exposed so I mean initially we thought we'd fought it off to start with and then we put them in after quarantine put little Daphne in but she unfortunately still had it came back basically so we're fighting it off at the moment so she's got a few bald patches not that you can really tell because she's so fluffy anyway but she is extremely sweet and I'll show you a close up if you're going to behave yeah there's your little face I know there's your little face I know you're squeaking she weighs last time I weighed her which was nine and a half weeks she was about 300 grams just over 300 so she's been putting weight steadily on because when i first got her oh she's trying to make a run for it when i first got her she was about 240 i think or 270 i can't remember exactly but she has steadily been putting on weight so that's been great getting on with the other girls really well the other girls i actually forgot to say um clara is my biggest she's fluctuates between about 9.90 and a kilo. Miss Arabella is just short of that. She's normally around 9.50 to 9.90. Oh, you're showing us your cleaning. Oh, you're showing off. See? They've all just had a bath with nights to all wash because of the fungal. So we're just carrying on with that. It's been a week since it's all of her symptoms have gone but we've still been treating just to make sure it's going to be leaving us and we won't have to be treating it again because poor little Daphne has been having drops twice a day on her skin and it's not been fun so fortunately she is all healed now aren't you and hopefully it stays that way but that's really all I can say about Daphne so far she is very confident as I said she's quite um She's always happy to be fair. She's always popcorning around her oh god. She's always popcorning around her cage and she will take food from my hand in the cage as well. So she's very confident. There's a little button there. Button. Can you see? <laughs> yeah. So I've now got my two little white, pure white little animals. They've got little Daphne. 
I know, I know, you're getting upset. And little button. But I will probably end this quickly because she's starting to get upset, as you can tell. But, yes, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the veggie footage at the end. So thank you. Bye.